So I had a question from a YouTube subscriber as far as the bare spots in the grass goes, how do I handle that? Do I use seed or sod or fertilizer? And the answer to that question in a nutshell is yes and no. Uh, no to the fertilizer. We are gonna do a fertilizer application, probably two of them this year, um, but A, we don't do it on like a regular regimented schedule like you would with a St. Augustine or a Bermuda grass or something of that nature. Um, B, it doesn't help with bare spots because it doesn't really drive growth the way it does with other actual turf grasses. Yes, to both seed and sod. And here's what I mean by that. We're gonna overseed the entire yard at least once a year. And we do that to battle the thinning that naturally occurs because Bahia grass naturally declines with age. If you have some especially thin spots, go heavier on the seed and pay more particular attention to the preparation in terms of getting the junk and the weeds out of that spot, loosening up that soil, making sure that when you put the seed down, you get good seed to soil contact and be really particular about watering and things like that. You wanna water that seed pretty much several times a day until it starts to germinate, which can be about a month or so. Um, and I'm right now I'm watering this area. I'm watering this lawn daily because I have overseeded, but I'm only watering for a few minutes at a time because I don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, I have to keep that seed from drying out until it germinates. If you have spots that are altogether bald, nothing in there but trash and weeds, clean those out. And I'm going to tell you to put sod in there. Bahia seed is slow to germinate. The germination rate's not all that great compared to other seeds. Um, if you've got places that are really ugly, you're not going to want to look at it for two months while you germinate seedlings and then wait for them to grow. Bahia sod sticks together more loosely than your average turf grass does. It's really easy to break it apart and to form it and make it fit in a sort of a plug in a hole, you know? So if they're bald, just sod them. You know, when I say bald, if the grass is gone and there's nothing in there but dead grass and weeds, clean that out, dig it out enough that it'll be level when you set it down in there and break off pieces of sod to fill that. I'm gonna show you a spot in just a minute where I've done that this year in this yard. I've actually got a few places like that. 